In this video, I'm going to show you a quick introduction to Chunkmogrify, a program to easily change real face images. Let's say we have an image, but we would like to change some facial features. First, let's open up the program and load up the image. To start the process, I draw a mask in the broad region that I would like to change. Don't worry about the accuracy too much, but it's better to make the region a little larger than smaller. You can refine the mask later. For example, here I choose the eyes region. Next, click projection steps. The number of steps required will depend on the region you drew and the desired precision. 100 to 200 is a good number. What's happening right now is that a machine learning system is looking for the nearest representation of your region in a generative model. We need to find this representation so that you can easily manipulate it and compose it back into the original image. Once you're satisfied with the resemblance, you can really fine-tune the accuracy by running a couple of steps of pivotal tuning. Let's say 50 is a good start. Now you can refine the mask to the region that you're really interested in, for example, just the eyes. And now we can start playing with the image. First, let's enhance the eyelash makeup a bit. As I drag the slider, you can see the image change in real time. Dragging the slider to the left or right will change the amount of makeup added. Next, we can for example make her look more to the left. So let's uh, add another edit uh, and select the gaze editor. And again, by dragging the slider to the left or right, I can make her look left or right. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so maybe we can play with the eyebrows a little bit as well. Change the position a bit or make them thicker or thinner. As we're doing this, the projection into the generative model is changing its look. However, because the resemblance is so closely matched and because we're only doing it in this region, the result looks as if it's incorporated into the original image. Finally, we can refine the mask so that the edit better composes into the original image. As you can see, it can require a bit of tweaking, but the result looks natural. Don't forget to select blended output mode for the best result. Okay, so I like the changes we've made in the eye region. So I freeze the image, uh, now I can remove the mask. And let's focus uh, around the mouth now. I draw a new mask and repeat the process. Run a few projection steps, let's say 100. Remove the old edits. And now that I'm satisfied with the projection of the mouth, we can start playing with it again. Let's uh, say we want to enhance her smile a bit. So we select the W, edit uh, smile. I increase the amount of smile. Multiplier value 3 is a good one. Okay, that looks good. Refine the mask again. Okay, good. Looks good like this. Uh, and let's start adding more edits. Uh, let's maybe add a little bit of lipstick. Make her mouth a little redder. Okay. Let's see what else we can get. Maybe with uh, the other direction. Okay, yeah, I think it looks best with some more lipstick. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, now that we've seen that, let's go for something a bit more challenging. Let's say I want to change how her hair looks a bit. So let's draw a mask again. And run a few steps of projection. Same thing as before. You can refine the mask. Alright, that's okay. Now this doesn't do much, so let's change the hair color of the added region. Make it more blonde. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, and refine the mask again so that it is more spread throughout her hair. Yeah. Alright, I think I'm pretty satisfied with that.
And just to show you a quick comparison of the before and after. And that's pretty much it about the basic usage. Thank you for watching the video and see you next time.